Oh, yes. I needed this so bad. I'm going to drink a beer, and then I'll introduce myself and all that business. Oh, I'm not going to drink the whole beer. Well, maybe I should. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chug. Hold on. Okay, what's up, my people, my horror people? This is Eric Harrison from where? Say it with me now. The Death Twitch Horror Review. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold the applause. We're going to watch Friday the 13th Part 2 from 1981 because I got off work. I was just sitting around drinking a beer, and I'm like, well... I should probably do something productive. <laughs> Let's do a commentary. And it's been a little while. It's been a minute. It's been about three weeks, I think, since the last one. The uh, commentary I did with Jay Bond from the Blood Bath and Beyonds. And uh, I wanted to do another Friday because I fucking love the Friday movies. I'm kind of doing them all out of order, which is, I don't know, a little annoying to my OCD side. <laughs> uh... I was going to do part three, but I feel like I want to do that with a group of people if I can possibly bring some peeps together. So I went with part two, which I really like. I like part two a lot. And I know I noticed, you know, because I fucking review horror movies and I've reviewed all the Friday movies and I see all sorts of comments, but I don't know. A lot of people seem to overlook part two and I don't get it. I think it's a great movie. Part two is pretty excellent in my book. So all you peeps that don't like it, you can lick a dick. <laughs> Unless you're into that, and then don't lick a dick, because that would probably make your day. <laughs> we probably should talk about the movie. So, of course we're getting our typical Friday the 13th recap. And look, <laughs> look at Adrian King having a, some bad dreams, apparently. So yeah, of course we're being recapped on what happened in the last movie, which is always cool. It's fine by me. This movie has the extended long opening before the credits roll. I really like that too. That was something that the the remake, the Friday the 13th remake imitated. And in that movie, that was the best part of the whole fucking movie was the first 15 minutes. And then after that, it's just I fucking hate that movie. Let's not talk about that shit. We're talking about part two because it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> um, oh yeah, this was directed by Steve Miner. You know, I should look into his stuff and find out. I'm sure this can't be the first movie he directed. I'm going to look it up right now. So you're going to listen to me search on the onlines. How do you spell his name? There we go. Because well, I... I don't suspect that Friday 2 is the first movie he directed. Let's see, editor, editor, store, edit, producer, editor. Oh my god, this is the first movie he directed. Well, what the fuck? Steve Miner, and then he also directed Friday the 13th Part 3. Oh my god. He directed Soul Man. Okay, we're getting off track now. <laughs> if you don't know what Soul Man is, you're you're truly missing out. <laughs> Apparently, the first thing he ever worked on was The Last House on the Left as a production assistant and assistant editor. That's cool. That's cool. Well, rock on then, Steve Miner. Uh, he also directed Halloween H2O. Ooh, it's a girl fight. Get her. Butter, yeah. I'm just, this is the same commentary that I had when I watched the first one. <laughs> I remember, because I get excited about the girl fight. Ooh, yeah, smash her face. Oh, God, it's so good. <laughs> this is the exact same commentary. Can we move on from the recap so I can at least try and come up with some new material? <laughs> yes, she got her head cut off. We all fucking know. We saw the movie. <laughs> Look at her face, like... Oh shit, I'm about to get my head cut off. Didn't see that coming. Hey, wake up, Alice. It was just a dream. Ugh, still with the recap. <laughs> oh, 
I'm all impatient. I just want to jump into part two. I love part two. I think it's good. It's a good sequel. It still has the same feel as the first one. It really feels close to the first one. But we've got, instead of Mrs. Voorhees, spoiler alert, we got Hillbilly Jason going around killing in his potato sack. Because look at that face. Got to cover that shits up. Well, I'm going to drink while we watch Alice have bad dreams, I guess. Ah, Okay, got to talk about the drinking. You tell me what you're drinking first. I'll wait. I'll, hold on. I'll wait. Tell me. What? What? Talking to my good ear. All right, so... Um, <laughs> I'm drinking fucking Milwaukee's best premium. Now, I feel ashamed. <laughs> I do. I had to cut back on my spending because I was just blowing way too much money on beer. So now I'm buying the cheap shits again. All the time when I wasn't doing a drunken Terry, I was drinking like the bomb beer. And then like, hey, it's time to do a drunken Terry. Let's go get some, let's go get the beast. <laughs> I also had some wine earlier, so I went from classy to trashy. Yippers. Oh, good, she's up. You know you're going to die, right, Alice? Because Jason fucking found you somehow. Somehow. And yes, I do believe she went back to the Crystal Lake area. Not the camp, but she's in the area. She's trying to face her fears or whatever. Work it out through art and face her fears. So I, I don't believe that Jason had to ride the plane to find her. But still, the fact that he just fucking find, finds her? Come on. I mean, come on. Why is she wearing all green? What is she, poison ivy? She's got the look of the Irish. Hey, hey, hey. She's really rude to her parents right now. And this is the last time she'll ever talk to them. Isn't that sad? <laughs> I think she's mostly improv right now. The old improv a phone conversation. Remember when phones had cords? Look at that shit. You remember those? <laughs> I do. All right, Alice, you should probably go take a shower. Yeah, and then feed the cat. And then take an ice pick to the head. That's what you get for killing Mrs. Voorhees. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, of course, I gotta mention that we've got the long takes in this movie. At least the opening. I'm not sure about the rest of the movie. There's probably some other long takes, but this is... Oh, I love it camera just goes and goes and goes it's all staged and set up like she gotta throw that shit on the bed walk out in a robe you almost see some nips but you don't <laughs> what a tease <laughs> you're a tease alice <laughs> oh see that's why you're gonna die <laughs> we're gonna creep up look i feel like a i feel like a creeper right now can spy on this woman in her bathroom. Phone's about to ring. I think, yep, there it is. So Jason's on the phone, even though he's in the house? Like, what, I, what the fuck? The call's coming from in the house, Alice. <laughs> Jason's got a cell phone. It's probably the size of a cinder block. <laughs> probably weighs this as much, too. Oh, sure, now you lock your door? What the fuck? Who takes a shower with an unlocked door? <laughs> Especially when they're all afraid of being killed. Come on, now. I mean, come on. 
holy crap, I'm tired. I might fall asleep during this drunken Terry. You guys, if I fall asleep, just go on without me, okay? Actually, let me drink some beer. Maybe that'll wake me up. And splash it on my face. <laughs> That's alcohol abuse. Ah, oh, yeah. You know, I give Milwaukee's Best a hard time because it's cheap. It's really not bad, though. It's really just not, not that bad. I think it's got a bad reputation. It's just misunderstood. <laughs> Look at that. That's the fucking weapon that's going to kill you. Isn't that some shit? She's holding the fucking thing that will end her life. That's messed up. That's just messed up. Is a cat going to jump out from somewhere? Please tell me a cat's going to... There it is! Ah, somebody threw the cat through the window. <laughs> I wonder who that whose job that was. Cat thrower. <laughs> that was a job in the 80s. <laughs> you, were, you could be a professional cat thrower. <laughs> Every horror movie needed one. <laughs> oh, I mentioned the 80s. You better drink. <laughs> ah, no, it's Mrs. Voorhees' head. How'd that get in there? Oh, fuck, you're dead. The cat didn't even help. <laughs> Way to just let that happen, pussy. Look, at Jason's going to take that out. He's like, that's really annoying. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yes. Here it comes. Friday the 13th. Oh, right up in your face. Boom. It exploded for no reason. <laughs> okay. So some of you fools might know that I introduced a brand new drinking game. The Death Twitch Drinking Game 2015. Um, <laughs> that was a bit extreme. Uh, now, it, this applies probably more to my reviews than a, a drunken Terry because... I, you probably would die of alcohol poisoning. But, for those of you that would actually like to try, <laughs> good fucking luck. The rules are, number one, uh, well, there's one drink every time I say, uh, uh, so every time I do that, you gotta have a fucking drink, nigga. Uh, rule number two, <laughs> drink every time I mention the 80s. Uh, okay. So that's already been a few times. And then rule number three is um, drink every time I curse. So, yeah, you probably you probably can't handle this game. I don't think you're man enough for this game. Uh, I th See? Drink. Drink, bitch. Uh, uh, I could do this all day, 80s. Uh, fucking shit, 80s. Holy, uh, what? Anyway. No, seriously, though. It's a good game that applies more to my reviews because those are like 10, 11 minutes and you can get pretty hammered without going overboard. You actually tried to do this during a drunken Terry. Yeah, I'm not taking responsibility for your death, okay? So just don't do it. <laughs> Try it out on one of my reviews, though. It's a good time. I'm telling you. The Death Twitch drinking game. Dun, 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 dun. Nice truck, yo. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled on them titties in that truck. On that girl. I had to specify what I was talking about. Watch, you'll see him. You'll see him come popping out right about now. There's Ralph. Fucking Ralph, dude. What is your deal? What has he been doing this whole time? He was just waiting for more teens to show up so he could tell them they're doomed. Look at them titties bounce. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Sorry, I got to I gotta keep myself under control. I won't mention. I won't mention them too much. <laughs> um, yeah, so Crazy Ralph just been chilling, waiting for more teens to show up. He's been waiting five years to tell somebody they're doomed. He's still wearing the same fucking clothes. Why is he wearing the same clothes, dude? <laughs> You're doomed. 
He's like, you got a quarter? I need to do laundry. <laughs> I'm just listening to the directions. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I want to know how to get there too. That was obviously a fake uh, phone booth. Shit didn't exist. It's a Hollywood phone booth. Hey, I think that's his truck, asshole. I'd be pretty pissed too if they were just towing my vehicle. You know, I'm not a big truck guy, but that's a that is a nice truck. It really is. Look at this pale motherfucker. Get the ginger. Get him. <laughs> get him before he breeds. <laughs> uh, so that ginger dude, he was in Christine for like a few scenes. He's barely in it, actually. But hey, trivia is trivia. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. <laughs> Yeah, look at Children of the Corn up on the left. Mixing movies now. Second assistant. I want to go to all these locations. I want to go and see... I want to go see for myself. Oh, what the heck is that? What the fuck's it look like, dude? It's, I bet you Crazy Ralph put that shit there. Look at look at the license plate B O C Blue Oyster Cult. Oh yeah. It's just I just wanted to say let's just get this right out uh, out of the way. <laughs> if I could go back in time and hit that, I would hit the shit out of it. Anyway, that's out of the way. <laughs> we can move on now. Put my dick away. There we go. All right. <laughs> on the same lake. You mean Camp you mean Crystal Lake, right? That's the same lake, isn't it? Look at she's way into it. Let's go see Camp Blood. Oh, we get the POVs. Love the POV shots. That's classic. The whole movie should just be that POV shot of a hand moving some brush out of the way. Just an hour and a half of that. <laughs> and you see a killing every ten minutes. <laughs> let me make let me make the next Friday movie. That's what it'll be. So look at all these people. A lot of them survive. Some fucking how. <clears throat> she wants the paralyzed D. <laughs> oh my god, I never thought I would hear those words come out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, ass shot. Oh, let's just take a break and look at it. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> he's like, I hit it. Get it? I hit it. That's what he's going to tell all his guy friends. Yeah, man, I fucking hit it. Had a rubber. I hit it. 
she liked it, and I winked at her. <laughs> They're like, oh, man, you're the bomb. Really, he didn't get any. <laughs> you know how guys are? Always saying they hit it when they didn't. Oh, he burned him. No, you won't. Because <laughs> they're all going to die. Well, half of them are going to die. The other half are going to have a fucking story to tell about how they almost died at Crystal Lake. <laughs> fucking Ralph. He's like, I'm on my way to tell them they're doomed. I'm surprised you didn't yell it just then. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ralph. The rest of your staff? Just one person? You're late. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He's so concerned about it. Oh shit, she's gonna get a talking to. You're in trouble, Jenny. No, you didn't. Phones aren't working. That's important to know, I think, in a horror movie. Yeah, she showed up, Paul. Why don't you just fucking mellow out, dude? Just because you think you're the boss doesn't mean you gotta be all tight-assed about it, everything. Fuck. Smoke him out. Maybe he'll relax. Get that, get that guy blunt. And he's very relaxed. She probably had some edibles earlier. She's just like, oh man, I'm fucking high. Now they're going to talk about uh, girls getting their periods and shit. He's going to be all embarrassed about it. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm not going to say anything about that. What's wrong with your car, Jenny? Yeah, girls, keep that shit clean. She's majoring in child psychology. I think that's another important thing we need to remember. Come on, gang. Keep up with me here. <laughs> Paul just got played. <laughs> She's a firecracker. <laughs> oh, oh God, it's it's the infamous campfire Jason explanation scene. Let's listen and drink. Ah.
died two months later. It was only two months later. Now it's five years later. It, the fucking Friday the 13th timeline is all jacked up. Just gonna say that. Because it's true. <laughs> it's all jacked up. Five long years. Except the movie was made the very next year. But whatever. Whatevs. He is out there watching. Isn't it ironic that you think you're just being a smartass, but he's actually going to kill you? Stab you in, and your haircut. <laughs> My hair looks ass like that when it gets long. It looks just like that shit. I don't like it. It was just the ginger. Be afraid! Oh my god, run! <laughs> it's the ginger. Look at that poor wheelchair guy over there. He's like, hey, I want to join. Well, wait up for me, guys. Nobody's helping me. Why isn't anybody helping me? This thing's not a fucking four-wheeler. <laughs> I'm making fun of the crippled now. Come on. Is that what it's come to? Drink every time Eric makes fun of the cripple. <laughs> Fucking flannels. Oh, it's over the top. She wants the paraplegic D so bad. <laughs> I just stop saying that. I gotta stop saying that. I'll just call it limp dick. Oh, she wants some limp dick flopping around her face. Anyway, we're getting, we're just going over overboard it's a little early in the drunken Terry to be going over the line like that <laughs> we still got a long ways to go I need to I need to just uh, demonstrate some self-control over here <laughs> and probably open another beer that's what I think that's what I think I should do. Did you just call him a white man? You fucking racist. Okay. She's really intelligent. And that, I guess, is another thing we need to take note about. Jenny. And the whole situation. Let's recap. So far, we've got a very clever, intelligent child psychology major at a place where the phones are still out, apparently. These are all things we need to know somehow. She's just got to. I told you, didn't I? I told you she just had to see that place. She wants to go over there and have some sex in one of the bloody-ass cabins. Girls are freaky like that. <laughs> I won't lie. Get that shit on front street. Girls are freaky, okay? Yeah, take it off. Woo! Woo! -hoo! Yeah, put it back on. All right. Woo! <laughs> what was the point of that scene, you might be wondering? I don't know. I bet you there wasn't a point. That was just to show some TNA. Like, here's a little T, sort of. T for T's. <laughs> Who's there? It's fucking crazy Ralph, but he's gonna die, so don't even worry about it. 
stupid ass crazy Rouse always like, don't go there, you'll die. And then he fucking goes there and dies. Dude, how did Paul get in there? He's got secret entrances and shit. Seriously, how did he get in there? When we, when we weren't looking, I guess he snuck in through the door. You pervert. See, this is why you're going to die. Because you was a pervert. And I really want you to touch me in my naughty spot. <laughs> That's what it's called, right? The naughty spot. <laughs> Look at Ralph. He's like, just like, damn, that's good. Yeah, get her. Yeah. <laughs> He's really into it. I'm surprised he's not sitting there fucking eating some popcorn and shit. <laughs> I could just see it. <laughs> oh, Jason's like, you know, what? I'm going to kill you, crazy Ralph. Because you should have took your own advice. You just got strangled with some barbed wire. Now, oh, rest in peace, crazy Ralph. <laughs> say, fuck you cripple <laughs> at least I can run <laughs> okay no more of that no more of that we, we, we won't have that here on the death twitch of course Jason's gonna kill him so I guess it's worse than just me making fun of him a little bit <laughs> at least I didn't murder somebody There's one lone black guy. And you know what? I don't think he dies. The black guy lives. Holy shit. It's a fucking miracle. <laughs> Look at this poor little doggy. First of all, that dog needs to be groomed. Oh, it looks like a little Ewok. Isn't it so cute? Ah, no hot dogs. Ah, you get it. You get it. Now that's called editing. Oh, we're POV in it again. Just watching this girl. Be, qu be quiet. Don't fucking don't let her know. Oh my god, I think she saw us. No, my name's not Muffin. <laughs> Shit, she fucking almost she almost fucking spotted us, dude. You know, just relax and don't be so loud and obnoxious. Come on, we're trying to POV spy on some chicks around here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's another thing we doesn't she use that chainsaw later? So many so many foreshadowing. So, so many foreshadowing. That doesn't even make sense. You ready? You ready to go have sex at the camp where people died? I am. We gonna do it raw. I'm not gonna use protection or nothing. I like to live dangerously. Those, those babies. <laughs> I 
I would go swimming in that lake. That lake looks nice. Oh my god, look at this shot. Look at the beauty of this shot. Just look at Oh my god. <clears throat> that guy's lucky. <laughs> until he dies. But shit. He's lucky until then. <sighs> Horny kids. I remember those stupid jokes. <clears throat> Anybody else remember those dumbass jokes? It starts with a frog in a blender and then you get to the, the dead baby's jokes and shit. That is elementary school humor. At least it was in my time. The 80s drink! Oh, oh fuck, I just knocked a beer down. Ah, son of a shit. I think it was empty, though. All right, fuck it. <laughs> Screw it. It ain't even worth my time. <laughs> I have other beers to drink. Gotta be worrying about that shit. Trespassing on Jason's territory. He doesn't like that when you do that. Uh, he doesn't like when you have sex and smoke weed and drink beer or any of those things. So don't do it. <coughs> oh, good God. Sorry. I did pound a few beers, by the way. So there will be some of that. We get to see a lot of feet and legs walking around. <laughs> but that's cool. I like that. Look at that dog! Oh! Oh shit, I just pooed. And they're like, wah, wah. <laughs> Fucking stupid looks on their face. Ah, that was hilarious. <laughs> He's like, look, she fucking insisted we go out there. Look at that rack. Would you deny her? <laughs> you know you wouldn't. Yeah. You're too close, Paul. Look at him, he's like, you're not going to spank him? <laughs> get over here and get off of my knee, I'm going to fucking punish you. This guy's a dick. <laughs> the sheriff's just trying to help for a change, and he's just being a douchebag. What a douchebag. <laughs> Uh, Jason's, why did he run across the road? Why did he do that? Just because he wants to kill this guy? Or because he wants him to track him and then kill him? He could have hid. He could have waited. Surely he knew the car was coming. He could hear it. He's like, I'm going to pop across the, the road here and make him chase me. And then I'm going to fucking stab his ass. He probably just really doesn't like cops. You know what? I don't blame him. <laughs> fuck the police. No, seriously. Fuck the police. 187 on a motherfucking cop by Jason on Friday the 13th. <laughs> F13 on a motherfucking cop. Get it? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. That was a weak joke, and you know what? 
Fucking no regrets. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Gotta entertain myself somehow. <laughs> I never even said that before in my life. That's what's fucking funny about it. This is probably the most fucking exercise that guy ever got. Look at him. He's like, oh, oh, fuck. Running sucks. <laughs> Gotta love the music, though. Harry Manfredini like a motherfucker. <laughs> He's like such a cop. Just look at him. <laughs> look at his dumb ass. Ooh, check out uh, Jason's shitty ass little homemade shed. I like that, dude. That is so tight. It looks like it's something somebody really built to survive out in the woods. Truly... Giving it up for the set design. But, oh, I had the hiccup. Just one. <laughs> Just the hiccup. Just one. Would you really, why, first of all, why did you decide I'm going to run after this hillbilly in the woods? Would you really just pop into his shitty little shack? Because I'm thinking that's probably not a good idea. Pull your gun out, dude. Pull the fucking gun out. You even know what you're dealing with. You know what happened five years ago. Pull your fucking gun out. Does he have a gun? <laughs> I don't know. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hammer to the head. Oh, and you're dead. Didn't we see a hammer to the head in Halloween 2 with a security guard? I mean, is that a common cop-killing weapon, I guess? Yeah, anybody that wants to survive this movie, raise your hand. It's like, I really want to hit it. For real, though, not with just a slingshot. Everybody just wants to fuck at this place. <laughs> ah, they really do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! Beer time. Let's go and get drunk at the hillbilly bar slash casino. I'm gonna, hey, I'm going to go walk around in Jason's woods alone in the dark. Don't wait up for me. <laughs> oh, fuck. I like the sound of just like the crickets and the frogs and shit. Oh, shit, Jason. There's a shadow. He's going to kill some people. Nice full moonshot. Obviously, that can't be real. The moon would never look that fucking huge. <laughs> That's clearly an optical or something, but uh, it still looks cool. Why is it always a full moon on Friday the, thir the 13th in these movies? What are, th what are the odds? And why does Jason wait until Friday the 13th? Because that's his birthday? That's what, they, that's what his mom said in the first one, but that don't make sense. <laughs> None of it makes any sense. Shit, she's not even wearing a bra. 
She's barely wearing a shirt. Look at that. Like I'm put I'm gonna put on half a shirt today. <laughs> I'm surprised Jenny's car even started. That little piece of shit. Woo! Let's go drinking! Yeah! It's my birthday. Buy me a round or four. Take it off, titties. <laughs> titties. There they are. Let's have a moment of silence. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of ribs too. She, she needs she needs a hamburger. Somebody get that somebody get that girl a double cheese stat. Too many ribs going on there. Oof, some TNA. We finally get some TNA in one of these damn movies. The first one didn't have any. There was like one T. There was only one T like in the first one. <laughs> Why did she just decide to go swimming in the lake? Nobody does it. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that deer. Arm wrestling again. Slut. Ha <laughs> ha What a slut. She wants the D and a couple Bs. That's dick and balls for those of you uninitiated. <laughs> oh, look at this. Smokey the Bear up in the far left hand corners. Only you can prevent crabs. <laughs> you use a condom. <laughs> That's a new Smokey the Bear motto. He's like, hey, we got this forest fire thing under control, but you know what you really need to look out for? STDs. <laughs> She probably has the clap. <laughs> Wrap that shit up. I'd be wearing three condoms over at Camp Crystal Lake. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> Only you can prevent herpes. Just stop having so much sex. <laughs> Oh, you happy now? You had yourself a nice little lonely swim in the dark at a place where people routinely got murdered. Good job. Now get the fuck out of the water so I can see some more TNA. Oh, there it is. Ooh, we got some, ooh, there's some bush action going on. That's always welcome. It's not enough bush in movies. Anybody else, anybody else agree with me? All right? Come on. We need more bush. <laughs> Let's start a petition. <laughs> we go to petition.com right now. I demand more bush in every movie. 80% <laughs> more bush. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm drunk. <laughs> Your suspicions were correct. I am pretty wasted. I had some I had a few beers before I even started this shit. <laughs> what should I do? Show me them titties one more time. <laughs> I'll hang here all night. Just let me see some. <laughs> he just wants to hit it and quit it. <laughs> That's all. He's got something to share with you. And it's called... It's called... Oh, fuck. I dropped the ball on that joke. <laughs> oh, shit. It happens. Sorry. <laughs> I was going somewhere and then I, my mind blanked out. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? Just forget that. Any of that even happened. I like this part here. She fucking ducks down looking for something and then she pops up right in front of the camera. Whose idea was that and why does this happen? Wait, watch this. <laughs> it's I you know what I dig it. It's a little weird. It's kind of unorthodox, but I you know I can dig it. Oh, 
dude. He didn't say nothing. He didn't scream for help. He's like, hey, cut my throat. <sighs> That's not the sound at all. It's kill, kill. And then she walks at the camera. She's really obsessed with the camera. How did you plan on cutting him down when he is... Come on. She's going to scream at the camera. See? Obsessed with the camera. Oh, we're rocking at the casino now. Casino slash bar. <coughs> oh, excuse you. You, you nasty pig. <laughs> no manners at all. Look at this group. What is it, 1974? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> they know it's the 80s now, right? <laughs> Let me guess everybody's drinking Budweiser. Just let me guess. Oh, look at that. It's Budweiser. Oh, wait. They're drinking something else. We got Budweiser's Miller High Life in the background. Heineken. Good choices. I like how awkwardly that that topic was brought up. <laughs> They're like, hey, you know, we probably got to go back into the plot. And somebody's got to give some kind of exposition. That's exactly what it is. He's an out-of-control psychopath. Very good, Jenny. You summed up fucking Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Way to use your child psychology. <laughs> You call him an out-of-control psychopath. I call him a fucking badass. He's a fucking badass. He's going to kill all your friends. What do you think of that? Jenny. Huh? Jenny? <laughs> no, he didn't. Stop making shit up. No, he didn't. He, he was dead. Stop making shit up, Jenny. Jason's been dead, Jenny. He's a zombie. He didn't see it happen. This is the part of fucking part two that pisses me off. I really like this movie. But when they start making that shit up about Jason was hanging out in the woods. And then he watched his mom get beheaded. Come the fuck on. I'm not buying it. Check out that kiss pinball in the background. That is sweet. <laughs> I was actually watching and watching Kiss a Kiss concert right before I did this commentary. A drunken Terry. Shit, my bad. It's a fucking drunken Terry. Yeah. And I like pinball a lot. Did they ever make a Friday the Thirteenth pinball game? I'm looking that shit up right now. Because if they, I'm buying it. Well, I, I can't afford it. I'm broke, but I'm gonna I'm gonna fantasize about buying it. <laughs> Here we go, Friday. The I didn't spell it right. The thirteenth pen ball. Oh my God, there is one. Holy shit, there's a Friday the Thirteenth pinball machine. Oh, it looks awesome. I want it. I want it to have it so bad. Okay, I need to settle down. But still, it looks fucking sweet. Uh, I have played uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street pinball machine. 
That was fun. That was a fun time. Played that shit in Vegas. I didn't know they had a Friday the 13th pinball machine. I want it right now. Oh, wait. Is this real? Photoshop contest. It's not even real, is it? Oh, you... You motherfuck. It's not even real. <laughs> now I'm pissed off. Fuck this. End of commentary. I'm done. How the hell the... They're gonna trick me like that. Why is there not a Friday the 13th pinball machine? Why? Why? <laughs> Tell me Friday the 13th doesn't deserve a fucking pinball machine? Because I think it does. <sighs> Hold on, I'm checking some stuff. Somebody wants to friend me on Facebook. Let me see who this person is. Okay. Well, sure, then I'll confirm that request. Let's go on YouTube, see if there's any comments. I don't think there are. I see no comments. Oh, no new comments. You guys are slacking over there. What the fuck? <laughs> it's my job to make the reviews. It's your job to kiss my ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <clears throat> but it's definitely cool, those of you that support me, because there's there's a few peeps out there that are douchebags. So all the peeps that are like, hey, Eric, good job. I'm like, thank you so much. I need to hear that. Okay, back to the movie. I got way sidetracked. Somehow there's not a fucking Friday the 13th pinball machine, and I'm pissed. Pissed, I tell you. Take it off. Yeah. Woo. Oh, she's got a front strapper. We strap the bra in the front. Those are always nice. I like I like a front strap. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present. <laughs> it really is. Brown panties, really, that's not sexy. Sorry, girl. I'm just telling you. Nobody wants to see some brown ass panties. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I should tell you guys. Well, I don't have to. But I sometimes like to... Um... <clears throat> Tell you what day or whatever the date that I'm recording these drunken terries, and today is Sunday, April 5th, 2015. Easter, that's right, it's fucking Easter, and all day long people have been saying happy Easter, and I've just been wishing it was fucking Friday the 13th the whole time or Halloween. I've been thinking about that too. I'm already jonesing for fucking Halloween to come back around. <laughs> we got a little ways to go, but just got to get through the rest of this pesky fucking year, and I can finally get back to Halloween every day. Fucking month should be October. I'm like, I'm just rambling over here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let, me, let me just relax a little bit. You know what's a pet peeve of mine? How in the movies? The thunder crashes right when you see the lightning. I mean, come, they really... They can't just stick to actual physics of reality... People know fucking better than that. Why would you have the thunder crash right with the lightning strike? Ass shot. Brown panted ass shot. Although, honestly, she ain't got much of an ass. <laughs> I ain't judging. I ain't judging. Except for I'm judging those panties. <laughs> Ah, look at that shit. Come on. The lightning comes first, then the thunder. Everybody knows that. That's reality. Why can't we stick to some semblance of reality here? <laughs> I'm getting all I'm getting all uptight. <laughs> Dude, sorry that you're crippled and all, and that you were about to get some V, but now you're going to get a machete to the face. Hate to break it to you, man. Sorry. It sucks. Shit sucks, dude. I'm sorry. You know, 
You didn't break any of the rules, except that you probably were gonna get laid, if you can even get it up. Just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah, that sucks, this guy. Well, it's a good death, though. It's a good death. Though, he really didn't deserve it. Here it comes. Ready? Boom! Oh my god, there he goes. <laughs> Uh, yes, rolling down the stairs. Oh, that's good shit. And then death right into sex. Look at these two. That was the best movie sex I ever had. With these 25 people standing around watching us. I feel bad for the for the fucking wheelchair guy, but that's such a cool death, though. The way that fucking machete just boom hits him in the head and fucking he's gone. So good. <laughs> that's why I love this movie. He's like, "Fuck this mask! I'm waiting for the hockey mask to show up." Watch out behind you, Jason! Behind you! I got you. <laughs> I got you. You should have seen the fucking look on your face. You thought Jason was behind you. <laughs> I got you. You pooed, didn't you? <laughs> All right. I need some more beer. I really do not, but I'm going to do it anyway. Sex sandwich. Shish kebab, boom. Now they both got penetrated by Jason. Because he's the man. He fucking lives. That ginger. <laughs> Why does he get to live? <sighs> Him and all those other fuckers that went to the bar. I'm telling you, the bar is the safe haven. If I ever find myself in a situation where I got a killer coming after me, I'm headed to the bar. <laughs> After hours. He's like, I ain't leaving. I got drinking to do. <laughs> oh, your boyfriend, he's yeah, he's probably dead at the bottom of the stairs right about now. Sorry. Sorry about that. She's actually kind of cute, despite her brown panty choice. <laughs> uh oh. Oh shit. No, nobody's alive. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, I got the yarns. Jason was like, let me hide up in this bed. I'll scare the shits out of her. Oh, boo, bitch. <laughs> I wish he had said that. <laughs> boo, bitch. <laughs> he looks kind of cool with his bag head. Although the mask is iconic and irreplaceable. It's like, no, don't. Why don't you run or fight or pick up a weapon or throw something and jump out the window or try to survive in any way? Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. 
<laughs> you deserve it. You deserved every inch of that blade. You know it. <laughs> of course, there's a storm at night in a Friday the 13th movie. Because there's always a storm at night in the Friday the 13th movies. She's already suspicious. I guess that's because she's smart. He's probably like, no, everything's fine. Let's smoke weed. Shut up. Stop bringing up good points. Damn it. <laughs> well, then maybe you better start buying from a different dealer, dude. <laughs> Ooh. Ew, look at all the bloody bed. Somebody had their period. <laughs> Nothing. Yes, I yawned. Okay, I'm a little bit tired. So fucking kiss my ass. <laughs> Where is it? You think he knows? Fucking Paul doesn't know shit. You're smarter than he is. Why are you even asking him anything? You should be telling him everything. <laughs> Don't even suggest it. Just be like, all right, there's a maniacal, suicidal. No, not suicidal. A maniacal. That's not a word. What am I trying to say? There's a fucking killer on the loose. <laughs> I made it so much more complicated than it needed to be. He's not suicidal. I don't know where that came from. It's a fucking killer hillbilly. Oh, fuck. He's got a bag head. You know that's trouble. Ain't nothing good ever came from a bag head. You could quote me on that. <laughs> that. That should have been the tagline of the movie. Ain't nothing ever... They sound like Morgan Freeman. Ain't nothing ever good came from a bag head. I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> And apparently Jason's other eye doesn't work, so he doesn't need to cut that hole out. Although he should have done it just for appearance. I don't know. <laughs> He's only got one good eye. Jason's only got one good eye, allegedly. But then in some of the other sequels, you can see two eyes and shit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Gotcha, cracker! <laughs> Come on, where's all your smarts now? Huh? You're so smart. You're so fucking intelligent and resourceful. Jenny, what are you gonna do? Huh? What the fuck are you gonna do? Grab a weapon. Alright, good choice. Good choice. Lock the door. That was good. That was also a good choice. Try and climb out the window. Don't stop. Oh, you fucked up. You done fucked up. You shouldn't have stopped. First of all, do you really need to survive? I mean, is life really worth living? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, sometimes life sucks. You know, some guy just gonna stick you and end the suffering. That's not such a bad thing. <laughs> oh, he had a pitchfork. Oh. Crazy Ralph was in the pantry. His dead body was in the pantry. That is hilarious. I gotta say, thank you to Steve Miner for putting that little in joke in there. <laughs> yeah, your car ain't gonna start. But you won't listen to me. I didn't try. It's not gonna work. Fucking never listen to me, Jenny.
Ah, <laughs> he just popped up there and then dug back down. What the fuck? Jason's crazy. <laughs> what? That's going to come from above. Death from above. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, he's going to pitchfork you. <laughs> Look at that hillbilly. Where did he get those clothes? Come on. I have no problem with the bag head, but the rest of his fucking outfit? Talking about fashion victim. <laughs> Somebody should have stopped Jason and be like, Oh, no, um, honey. <laughs> we needs to do something about that there costume. Seriously, though. Who the hell runs around with fucking overalls anymore? <laughs> In the nuts. <laughs> and he felt it too. He was like, oh, God damn, no. Not my nuts. <laughs> I don't use them, but still, not the nuts. <laughs> Jason's only weakness. <laughs> what are you going to do once you get in this car? You have the keys to it? Can you hotwire it? Seriously, what's your plan? Run, bitch. <laughs> Run, Forrest. I'm drinking. Oh, shit, I need to open another beer. If beers were teens and I was Jason, I'd be slaying them left and right. <laughs> oh good god silly Eric you can say it you silly Eric you silly drunk <laughs> why do we listen to you Jason's all up in the room now. There's his feet. As if we sit, hadn't seen his feet enough yet, there they are. <laughs> so, Steve, uh, what kind of shot you want to do today? Yeah, uh, did we get any uh, feet shots yet? Yeah, we got like a dozen of them. Well, let's, you know what? Let's hook us up with another fucking foot shot there. All right. Uh, you sure, though? Like we've got we've got so much B roll. <laughs> no, I think this scene really is just calling out for another foot shot. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> you heard the man. And now the part where somebody pees? And nobody knows who pees? The rat pee? Did Jenny pee? Did Jenny pee because of the rat? Why would she pee because of a rat? She's got a Jason after her. So she's just really afraid of rats, but that was not set up before. Look, I'm all trying to actually get into this. But seriously, though, look at she's Oh, that's a strong stream, Jenny. <laughs> Why are you peeing right now? This is a bad time, really bad time to be urinating. <laughs> that was an odd choice by the filmmaker. What I want to say. I really, I just got to see some urine in this shot. <laughs> like, what? Why? What? <laughs> Look out. Death from above? <laughs> That's what this fucking movie should have been called. Friday the 13th Part 2. Death from above. By a hillbilly. Oh, look at that. It's the TCM going on. Oh, yeah. Get him. Get him, Jenny. Breaking chairs on them like it's the WWF and shit. <laughs> I 
I could see uh, Baghead Jason actually being like a wrestle wrestling character. Of course, he wouldn't talk, but he would fight off against like ma the Macho Man, and the Macho Man would just talk shit about him. Look at that baghead! What are you? What are you trying to hide under that baghead? That was a terrible impression. <laughs> I just feel bad now. I just feel fucking bad about myself. A terrible impression. <laughs> it's really hot up in my room right now. I'm just saying. It's fucking hot up in here. Please help me. Yeah. Yeah. Because... The look of that shack suggested reliable help, right? <laughs> Come on, Jenny. Thought you were smart. Please help me. More like, is this the rest of the cannibal family? <laughs> Should I run inside and just deliver myself to them? Should I just jump right in their oven? Oh, look at them bodies. By the way, that little skeleton you saw on the floor there. Uh, in front of the shrine and of uh, Mrs. Voorhees' head, was supposed to be Alice's body. It's shown for fucking, like, what, a second? You don't get to see it, really. Uh, but if you pay close attention, probably if you pause it or something, you'll realize that that little skeleton laying on the floor was supposed to be Alice. <laughs> Poor Alice. That was her fate, huh? Ew. Jenny, you're, you're nasty. <laughs> Putting on that gross old fucking sweater. That's just nasty. What are you what are you trying to pull right now? <laughs> Look at him. Well, how do you know my name? He's like, that's what he he doesn't really think that it's his mom. He's just like how do you know my name? <laughs> kill, 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 kill. Mom, 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 mom. That ain't gonna fool nobody. Come on. Just come on. <laughs> That's about as unrealistic as the thunder crashing with the lightning. I ain't buying it. <laughs> and Jason ain't buying it either. He's like, fuck that shit. Ready for this pickaxe? Because I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. Every inch of it. Ooh, gross. Oh, there's Paul. Where were you at the whole time, you bitch? <laughs> Supposed to be the hero up in here. Fucking Jenny's been fighting Jason all by herself. Come on, Paul. Get with the program, Paul. That's you with the boss, huh? Who's the boss now? It's Jason's the boss. Oh, shit. Get him, Jenny. Show that hillbilly who's boss. And there it is. He's like, what just happened? Because even I'm kind of confused. What, what did just happen? <laughs> she stabbed him with something. Not even sure what. Look at her face. <laughs> Take that sweater off right away. That's what I'd be doing. Take it off, burn it, go and scrub myself down in a hot shower for about eight hours. She's 
She just had to see us. What's under the bag? Are you happy now? It's the things nightmares are made of. Are you fucking happy now, Jenny? <laughs> just had to see it. God. Fucking women, right? <laughs> Ah, oh shit, we're coming up on the end, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Coming up on the end quick. Quick. Hope everybody enjoyed Friday 2 with me, with my drunken rambling. I said some crazy shit. You heard you heard me say some crazy shit. We're just going to keep that between me and you, right? 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 All right. <laughs> That's just between me and fucking you. Ah. I'm going to try to get around to Friday 3 eventually. If I can get some other peeps to join me, I will. If not, it'll just be yours truly. They just went back to the camp. Get in some car and drive. Find a car that'll start and leave. Seriously. Hey, I think it's safe. Let's go hang out with the dead bodies in the fucking cabin. Yeah, oh, that's a good fucking plan. These people. <laughs> here comes the dog that's apparently survived maybe the dog did it the whole time <laughs> muffin is that the name muffin I don't even know I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> what the fuck was he going to do with a broken ass handle of pitchfork? <laughs> oh, I'll get him. I'll give him a splinter. <laughs> That'll annoy him. <laughs> God, dude. Paul, you're a goontard. Use a goontard. <laughs> Look at his stupid face. <laughs> Alright, I'll splinter him and then you stick him with the pick the pick pitchfork, whatever it is. Muffin Oh Look at that little doggy. Everything's okay. Yay! Everybody relax. There's no more jump scares. The dog showed up. It's all good. Everybody relax. It's okay. I, I'm fairly sure Jason won't be... Oh my god! There he is! Sort of. Ha <laughs> ha he looks like the hills have eyes. <laughs> he, that's what he looks like. He looks like Crystal Lake has eyes. He's just taking her away. This is mine. I'll take that. <laughs> Paul? Paul? Where's Paul? That's a good goddamn uh, question. We never find out. Is that is that some shit? I like that. I kind of like that. Because everybody always trying to give you some stupid answers in one of their shitty remakes or sequels. Fuck that. You never know what happens to Paul. Gonna go to your grave never knowing what happened to fucking Paul. And you know what? That's fine by me. Alright, we're gonna zoom in here on old Mrs. Voorhees there. Freeze frame. Good times. Good times. I'm fucking drunk, guys. I really am. You know what that means. I need to drink even more beer. Oh, shit. That's the way I roll. <laughs> All right. You know these credits are going to go quick. They always did back in the 80s. Oh, I said 80s. Everybody drank. Um... So, I gotta get my uh, thank yous out. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Thanks for listening to my stupid rambling, watching these Friday movies with me. 
Leave comments. Tell me what you drank. Tell me what you thought. Tell me uh, your deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> uh, and uh, catch you guys on the next review or drunken turry, whichever the fuck happens to come first. So I'm going to cut that shit right hard. I'm just going to cut it right hard. Because we don't want like another 40 seconds of uncomfortable, like, oh, I already thanked everybody. Now what the fuck am I supposed to say? We don't want that. Do we? Do we? <laughs> Do we want that? No, we don't. All right, peace out. I'm late. See you later, guys.